I am. Denver Broncos receivers used to have what they call the L.A. cross because you see them football so hard and the end of the football would stick in their chest. That's what they call the cross. Do you get that sometimes with DJ that throw the end zone? Have a little mustard on it. I do. It was a bullet. Um, but he throws like that all the time in practice, so pretty much used to it. Is, 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 how is he different than, say, Trevor? Trevor had a great arm, too. Are they, are they similar? How, do they, how does their ball come at you different? I think that uh, DJ just has like a different approach to him. Uh, I feel like the ball comes out higher. Um, Trevor, I don't really know, but DJ's kind of up high. It's almost like a like a pitcher, like a reliever or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, they play baseball, so. Right. So on that play, are you because of the way you were kind of bracketed, the running back are here and the safety here? You know, were you expecting the ball? Um, I mean, not really, but. Uh, kind of just opened up my way. Uh, that play is technically, like, it's designed to go to anybody, but uh, I'm, like, one of the second or third reads in that play. As long as throws your way, like the Wake Forest touchdown or the D.C. touchdown, it's right in the window for it with a lot of muster on. How do you think that shows the trust that D.J. has in you? Um, I think it just comes with preparation and practice. Um, I feel like us just, you know, practicing every day and getting down uh, each, each uh, play, I feel like, it all just kind of comes, and it showed Saturday and the Saturday or two Saturdays ago. How do you think DJ responded to the interception? Was, was it different than maybe what it might have happened last year? I do. I mean, I feel like DJ's whole approach this year is just so much better. Um, <coughs> I feel like he's shaking back from adversity a lot better, and he's able to pursue adversity just a lot better, in my opinion. You guys are just rotating a lot of players in and out. Does that make the whole room better? Uh, everybody's playing, everybody's getting snaps. I do. I feel like it all helps. Um, all of us going in and you know staying fresh. Uh, that that makes it really tough. I feel like for teams to be able to handle us. Um, and then it also it's just good for all of us to you know continue to grind off each other and you know learn from each other's mistakes and then just get out there and execute. What do you think your snaps are split between the, the, the five and the nine? I mean, have you you've been playing outside some, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I enjoy it. You know, wherever they can use me, I'm fine with. Uh, I enjoy, you know, the challenges that comes at, you know, at the outside receiver and then in the inside. Uh, both are fun to play. The touchdown point, was it, were you playing inside or outside? I was. I was playing the slot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. on, on those kind of slot, <laughs> because the slot guy, you typically think, hey, I'm going to have a quick curl or a quick turn. Or yeah, uh, it was more of just like I, I know that I'm going to have a backer kind of over me and uh, being able to execute to, you know, get around him, uh, stay with my pads low and uh, just not get caught up and jammed up and then uh, get my head around and then just trying to find a window to get open in. Uh-huh. Uh, I mean, it was a rare situation. I've never really had, you know, a catch like that in practice. Uh, but it just kind of all worked out. It bobbled up into my hands, and then luckily I was able to catch on to it. But uh, it was a great play by DJ getting the ball. Earlier in the season, uh, Brent, uh, OC Brand Specter called you a warrior. How do you take that kind of mentality onto the field? Um, I mean, I feel like it. It's a great compliment. Uh, I, <laughs> it's, I don't know. It's it's a, uh, it's a, uh, I guess nice for him to say that. I I come out with the same mentality. I feel like every game, <coughs> every day of practice, uh, my mentality is just attack and have fun and uh, just enjoy the moment and not take anything for granted. Uh, it means just, uh, I feel like all the other guys have just been super passionate with, you know, the number 13, and I'm here to carry on that tradition. Uh, just to not necessarily live up any standards, but just to have fun with it and uh, just go out there and play and uh, do what any other receiver has done here, and that's just go out there and have fun.
Humphrey's Right. That's right. I mean, all those guys, I feel like they all played the game very well, and they all, you know, created a legacy here, and uh, I'm just trying to do my role as well. Are you proud of your route running? I was watching you Saturday, and you seem to be a bit of a technician. I try. Um, every day after practice, I watch film and watch everybody else, and I try and, you know, critique myself and then learn from others and what others are doing well. Uh, and just try and put that into my game. And Antonio seems to be a guy who obviously wasn't, you know, as polished as a college guy, but when he got here, as polished as I've ever seen a freshman, really. Mm -hmm. He seemed to understand the game right, right off the bat. He is. He's very far ahead than a typical freshman. Um, and I've learned from him a lot. Uh, he just is always, I don't know, he's helping me out just by the way that he runs. Uh, he does some really good stuff. Questions from Zoom for Brandon?